Adi's kitchen. Today I am going to prepare lamb biryani. Let us see the ingredients we require for it. We need basmati rice. I have soaked it for 45 minutes in water. Chopped mint and coriander. It's approximately one full cup. Six to seven tablespoons of oil. You can also use clarified butter. And these are two medium-sized, uh, you know, chopped uh, onions. Use five to six uh, green chilies. You can buy the fried onions in store. And uh, approximately five to six tablespoons of ginger garlic uh, paste. And half a tablespoon of turmeric. And saffron soaked in milk. And uh, just approximately one tablespoon of uh, cumin powder. This is one tablespoon of uh, biryani masala powder. Check out my videos how to make the biryani masala powder or you can buy in the store. This is uh, five tablespoons of red chili powder and uh, one tablespoon of uh, black cumin. So this is, uh, uh, this is not exactly the uh, regular cumin. So the size of the cumin is small and it is in black color. Uh, we also call this uh, sajira and approximately four to five tablespoons of salt and one tablespoon of uh, coriander powder and this is almost uh, one kilo uh, lamb as this lamb is not very tender uh, if you get a baby lamb you don't have to marinate in a tenderizer um, but as this is not a baby lamb so I need to either tenderize for at least three hours in a tenderizer uh, or I can uh, pressure cook it for uh, four to five whistles. So I'm right now using a pressure cooker. You can also use a tenderizer. Then almost uh, four to five leaves, uh, bay leaves, and uh, four to five cardamoms, and then five cloves, a small sized uh, two sticks of cinnamon, three fourth cup of yogurt. Okay, add this lamb into the pressure cooker and I'm adding almost half a tablespoon of turmeric powder and two to three tablespoons of uh, ginger garlic paste. I'm adding a little bit of water to this, approximately one tablespoon of salt. So while pressure cooking it, you can add uh, turmeric powder and then ginger garlic paste and a little bit of salt and water. You just uh, mix this a bit. You don't have to add so much water. And then now cook it for four to five whistles. While the lamb is uh, getting cooked, Let's also uh, get ready with the rice. So place a big bowl like this and take almost uh, three fourth uh, amount of water and add these whole spices and also around five to six tablespoons of salt. Allow it to boil and then once it is completely boiled, we are going to add the soaked basmati rice and you can also add just a half a tablespoon of uh, black cumin uh, seeds as well okay and allow it to boil now while the water is boiling uh, let's uh, start cooking the meat add ginger garlic paste and then uh, I have taken here almost five to six tablespoons of oil and then you know allow it to heat just for a minute and then add uh, ginger garlic paste and the remaining black cumin also onions and green chilies saute them a bit and make sure the onions are completely fried to the golden brown color before you add the meat Now the onions are uh, nicely fried into brown color. So at this stage we can switch off the flame and add the rest of the ingredients. I am adding 3 4 cup of the yogurt. And 
and more than half a cup of uh, mint and coriander. Almost more than three fourth cup of this uh, now I'm adding the you know this cooked meat if you have too much water into it don't add I don't have so much water so I have added completely Just mix this. I'm also adding a little bit of salt. Now the water is boiling, so gently add the rice. Make sure the rice should be cooked for about 80 to 90 percentage and then we are going to add as layers on top of the meat. Now gently mix it from the bottom to top like this. Make sure the rice is uniquely cooked. The rice is almost 80 to 90 percent cooked. I don't see any grains. So at this stage you can just transfer this rice gently on top of the meat. Don't add uh, too much water. Now oh, let the leftover rice get cooked to 95 percent So now we are going to add the chopped mint and coriander. Also these fried onions. completely cooked so transfer everything now the rice is completely transferred add the remaining coriander and mint and also the fried onions now just uh, add this saffron soaked in milk on top of this Okay. 
replace the lid. Make sure the steam is not escaped from this vessel. Okay, as the meat is already cooked for uh, about 10-15 minutes under 4 or 5 vessels, it is better not to keep it on high flame for long time. Just keep only 5 minutes maximum on high flame and then cook for 20 minutes on very slow flame and then the biryani will be ready. It's almost uh, 25 minutes. Biryani is almost done. So let's see that. Carefully remove the foil. Take a lot of steam. Wow. It's nice, nice aroma. Rice is perfectly cooked. You can see there's those grains. It's fantastic. Rice is really looking nice. Let us see the piece. Oh yes, it's really juicy. I think we don't have to really check whether it is cooked or not because it's already under stream for a while. Let me taste this. Wow, this is really amazing, really nice. Nothing better than a lamb biryani if it is perfectly cooked. This is fantastic. And you know the rice is really good and the salt and the spices are perfectly in this recipe. If you really enjoy this, please try to make it at your home and enjoy with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.